Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a probability problem. So let me read the problem first, and then you can pause it and do it on your own. Um, in 2012, 62% uh, of all enrol enrolled college students were female. What is the probability that a student would be male when selecting them at random? So pause and see if you can try to do this one on your own. Okay, when it comes to these problems, uh, just read the problem first. What is the probability that a student would be male? And you're given that 62% of all enrolled students were female. Well, here you have female, and then you have the complete opposite, which is male. And there's only two groups, right? So you have female and not female, which is male, which means that you're going to use the complementary probability rule. Now, the rule basically states that this box represents the probability of the sample space. And the probability of the sample space is 1, right? Because all the probabilities within this space, when you add them together, equal 1. Now, I have the probability of, let's say, PE. That's normally what's used. Say so the probability of E, the rest would be the, the complementary, which would be probability of complementary. Added together equals 1. So here, it would be 1 minus the probability of the event equals the complementary probability. So when you plug everything in, 1 minus 62%, and change 62% to, uh, to a decimal, which is 0.62, I get 0.38. So the probability of selecting a male at random would be 38%. And that's it.